All right, welcome back to the channel and uh, as we continue on our build. So the uh, last time you saw the water system, I installed the pump and a uh, little drain tank and just kind of a bucket to uh, test out the water system with no leaks. And then I picked up where I left off uh, installing the tank. So let me give you a shot of uh, what I've got going here and how well it works. So the first thing I did is I took some one and a half by one and a half angle brackets here, aluminum, and I uh, fastened those down to the floor. And then on top of that, I don't know if you can see, I installed a half inch rubber gasketing on the bottom over top of the aluminum and the uh, heads of the screws and a couple of strips along the length and the uh, ends here to support the water tank and hey maybe that'll give me some soft water huh and then I've got my hose to my water pump installed back here and I have my water fill kind of makeshift at the top just kind of dangling right now and I did uh, fill it about half full check for leaks no leaks and then I run the uh, sink, filled up my tanks a couple of times and dumped all that out. So that is all working great. We'll see it get you, get you in the shade here. All right, so if you want to see it, uh, what we're going to do next, stick around. All right, so our next task here, our next project is I uh, jumped online, Flatline Van Company, and bought a roof rack. Uh, that way I can install my solar panels up there and uh, be able to run that into my controller, get power into those batteries. So let's take a look what we have set up. Okay, so I took everything out of the package and it comes in two packages. You have the uh, side rails and the front fairing and the hardware in one package. And then you have all of your uh, top rails here in another package and I have laid everything out so we have the brackets here for the front fairing we have the brackets here that will attach to the uh, studs that are on the roof and uh, those will clip over bolts sticking up here that'll sit over top just like that and then our side rails will sit on top of those and uh, first impressions so taking it out of the box, which, you know, they're well packaged, but, you know, a lot of these rails are scuffed and scratched, a lot of metal shavings all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I still have a lot of debris left in these holes. I'm going to try to fish those out and then make sure the bolts actually uh, screw in there without trying to cross thread or strip the side rails come a little scratched up, a little damaged, and uh, some marks all over the place. I'm not too worried about that. It's a uh, function uh, over form, I guess. So I have two fronts and two rear, left and right. And then we also have the front fairing with the uh, gasketing that will mount here on the bottom. So we're uh, gonna go ahead and get all this put together and hopefully have a rack installed today. And then later, once I get the uh, solar panels out, we'll reposition our rails and get them at the proper distance, put the solar panels up there, get things wired in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, or first step, is we have these metal studs and there's four on each side going down the uh, length of the van. And we're gonna go ahead and install the brackets. Yep. Got the studs through there, and it just sets like that. And then the top cap sets just like that. And then when we get ready to put the side rails on, we'll put the nuts and bolts on there, and that'll snug it up. And we'll just make it snug and keep everything fairly loose until we get things in position and place, and then we'll tighten it down. 
then we'll tighten it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in our haste, we got things installed before we uh, grab the camera. But so the first things you do is install the uh, brackets on the uh, T-nuts on the top of the van, and then you set the front and rear and uh, lightly tighten those down so everything's still pretty loose. And then once, once you get those in place, like I said, they're still fairly loose, then we'll install the center brackets. And then once we get those in there, we'll uh, hand tighten those until we line everything up. And then we'll tighten it down as we did the other side. And then we can uh, install the front fairing. All right, so once the side rails are up and things are just hand tight, uh, everything's still able to move and uh, wobbly. Next is our cross beams. So we're gonna go ahead and install those. So what uh, we'll do is we have a couple of bolts and we've got a couple of holes that we just line this up in and attach. And these will be fairly loose. And when we tighten these down, we're just, uh, we're just tightening them down to where they uh, just seat. We'll still keep things fairly loose. And uh, we'll do that for the next couple pieces and then we have the front fairing that we'll install and then we can come back and tighten everything down and believe it or not it'll be finished all right we did get the uh, front fairing on and I have a little pro tip for you kind of deviates from the manufacturer's video that might help the installation go a little quicker once that's all set and done then you come back, tighten all the crossbars, and then tighten all the mounting plates to the van itself, which is what we're in the process of doing. And then once that's done, this is complete. Minus the solar panels, at some point when I get ready to install those, I will relocate these cross members, probably utilizing the slots here, because I don't think these are going to be in the right position but I won't know until uh, that time comes. So at any rate, that's where we are. And uh, I'll tell you about the front. All right, so on the manufacturer's install video, there's a bracket that this front fairing installs to, and it also tightens onto the side bracket. And in their video, they're showing to install that bracket onto the front fairing, then bring it up here and install it. And I'm gonna say no. If I had to do this again, I install that bracket, which is a little L bracket. I would install it on the side piece here first, then come over and install just this side onto that. And the reason being is those nuts and bolts are a bear to get to. So you'll spend most of your time on this install just working on these uh, two nuts right here. So install the bracket on the side rail first, loosely, then put your fairing on, install that loosely. Then you can reach in with a wrench and an Allen screw, tighten those down. So I just saved you about 30 minutes of worth work. So uh, if you can uh, give me a thumbs up on that, that'd be good. <laughs> well, between uh, two old guys who like to uh, Work at about 50% because we swap stories quite a bit. Um, it only took us about three and a half hours. We started on it at noon and stopped at about 3.30. And uh, short work. And I think I like the way it turned out. I'm going to have to readjust the uh, fairing up front. It has just a I don't know, maybe that's the way it's supposed to look, but it's got a little bit of a, just a little bit of a wobble right there. So I'll have to loosen that up and uh, make the bracket slide apart and take that out. Other than that, 
It uh, looks pretty doggone good. If I can get up there. All right, so a little short day. Got not a lot accomplished. So we do have our uh, water tank installed, all the fittings in place. We've got one hokey line hanging down until uh, walls uh, put up so I can put the uh, the uh, hose adapter thing on there, the water fill. And then we've got the roof rack on. So the next step or the next task is going to try and uh, install the solar panels. So I think I have all the fasteners and everything for that. And I just got to touch things up, make sure that they fit, and then we can get those up. So thanks for watching the video. It's been a hot one. I think uh, it was like 100 uh, when Jack and I were putting that top up. So. Yeah, that's why it took so long. <laughs> I think, you know, a couple of guys doing that reasonably, a couple hours, but if that. So anyway, uh, thanks for sticking it out, and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.